for extra bedtime stories, mindfulness activities, and sound and music for sleep, please consider subscribing to Sleep Tight Premium. Visit sleeptightpremium.com to start a free trial. Thank you. Hello, friends. Welcome to Mindful Monday. In this episode, we are going to explore bravery. Before we get started, let's find a comfortable place to sit, somewhere free from distractions. If you are about to go to sleep, you can sit by your bed. Try sitting cross-legged or with your legs straight or dangling off a chair. Place your hands on your lap or on your knees, and when you are ready, close your eyes. Keep your back nice and tall like the neck of a giraffe. Make sure you feel relaxed and keep your body as still as you can. Keep your legs still like that giraffe. Keep your hands still like a tree. Keep your whole body nice and still. With your eyes closed, if you'd like, imagine that you are a mighty, brave lion, free on the plains of Africa. You are the biggest lion the world has ever seen, and you have a giant sized roar. Your claws and teeth are long and sharp. Your legs are strong. Your tail licks and swishes. Your ears hear every whisper of wind. And your long, lean body is ready to spring into action. Feel the sun warm your tan-colored skin and the grass tickling your feet and your belly. As you are laying there, relaxing in the grass, you can see the sky above you. What do you see? Maybe a cloud? or a bird, or the leaves of a tree. The sky above you is big and blue, and the earth below you is green and vast. You get up for a second and stretch out your long legs letting out a great big breath. You look around and see your pride with you, supporting you, there for you. You see many other animals in the distance. Can you recognize them? What are their names? You lay back down again and let out a great big lion's roar. Now, let's practice this lion's roar because lions are so smart. They know that this roar 
not only communicates, but it also relaxes. For us, it helps us let go of any stress or feelings or thoughts that we no longer want right now. This lion's breath is a great way to get those thoughts and feelings out in order to send them far away. Continue to sit tall and get ready to let your roar go. I'm going to think of a feeling that I would like to let go or a thought that I want to release. Maybe I want to lessen the feeling of tension I feel after a hard day at school. First, I squeeze my hands in fists, holding tight that feeling or thought and scrunch up my face, getting ready to roar. I take a deep breath in and let my roar out, even sticking my tongue out at the same time and stretching my arms out wide in front of me, opening my hands wide. Wow, that felt pretty good. Now it is your turn. Think of the feeling or thought that you would like to roar out. Scrunch that feeling or thought into your hands and pull them up tight in front of you. Now scrunch up your face tight. Take a deep breath in and roar it out, sticking your tongue out and letting your arms and hands stretch out wide in front of you. Awesome. Let's try it a few more times. Now, mighty lion, I would like you to just sit tall as we continue to talk about bravery. Have you ever been afraid to do something? What are some things that you are afraid of? How do you help yourself to try new things? Do you think you are brave? What does it mean? to be brave. Bravery is the experience of being afraid, but believing that something else is more important than your fear. It is a choice, and a choice no one can make but yourself. I love this definition. It is a choice, a choice you get to make all by yourself that no one can make for you. You can make that choice. I know you can. Today we are going to look at two books that talk about being brave. The first one is called Little Tree by Lauren Long. In this book, there is a little tree who is surrounded by little trees. 
They all look the same, and the squirrels and the birds play in the trees. When autumn arrives, the leaves start changing color, and one by one, the trees start dropping their leaves. Except for the little tree. Little tree hugs his leaves tightly. And even when the animals tell him he is supposed to drop his leaves, he doesn't. After some time, he notices that all the other little trees are no longer little like him anymore. And he finally decides it is time to do the one thing he was afraid to do. He makes the choice and he lets go of his leaves, and amazing things happen. The second book we are going to look at is called Shy by Deborah Friedman. In this book, the character who is called Shy is most comfortable in the pages of a book. He loves to read about birds, birds that can do lots of things. One day, a real bird flies by singing a real song, and he wanted so much to talk to her, but he was worried. What if? What if? What if? He thought. He wanted to follow her, but he had never been anywhere else. But he chose to go after her and saw such amazing things. He made a choice to speak to the bird when he found her, but by the time he had taken a deep breath, she was gone. He went home to his books, but then he heard the bird sing, and finally spoke. Remember, you can make the choice to be brave. I hope that today you will find a chance to make your own choice. You've done a wonderful job listening, sitting still, and using your imagination today. Now, let's take in one last deep breath, and when you are ready, open your eyes, take a great big stretch, and know how fantastic each day at school and at home is going to be. (laughs) 